This is the Scoop for Friday. I'm Sean Canan with the WMNF News Headlines. This coming Monday is the deadline to register to vote for the November 5th general election. You can find out more about how to register at WMNF.org slash vote. The waterfront district in Gulfport in South Pinellas County got considerable damage from storm surge a week ago during Hurricane Helene. Some streets are closed. People's belongings are piled on curbs for several blocks from the water. Bars are gutted and a sailboat sits grounded on a sidewalk. But neighbors are helping each other clean up. Thank you. Debbie Amos owns the Tiki Bar and Grill with her husband. It's along the waterfront across from sand volleyball courts and the beach. They own the business but lease the building, which has visible damage from what she estimates was more than four feet of water. The structures are, most of them anyway, are still standing, but everything on the waterfront here is completely damaged or a loss. Um, Going in a few blocks from shore, probably up a good four to five blocks, I think, in this whole waterfront area is... uh, Flooded, damaged, piles and piles of debris and people's lives out on the curbs. And, yeah, it's it's pretty surreal. It's what you see on TV, you know. Amos and some volunteers were cleaning out the devastation at the restaurant Thursday morning when she received a delivery of supplies. They came from volunteers at the city's official donation center. Kelly Garcia is one of the organizers. She's on the Gulfport Merchants Chamber Board of Directors. Water cleaning supplies, food, personal care items. That's really all we've been trying to accept. And and as quickly as it comes in, we send it back out. The first few days, we had a lot of residents coming to get it. What we're doing now is loading up and taking it to parts of our community that can't get to us that need the help. About 25% of homes in Gulfport were damaged from the storm. So... We are focusing heavily on businesses that were impacted and personal homes that were impacted. Garcia says that through tomorrow, they're accepting donations, a list of items, and how you can help or how you can ask for help is on our website, WMNF.org. Energy Florida outage map shows that 4,000 customers are still without power in Pinellas County. Meanwhile, people are still reeling from the impacts of Helene. Organizations like the Crisis Center of Tampa Bay are providing residents with resources and mental health support. Clara Reynolds is their CEO. So right now, for many individuals, you are just focused on basic needs. You're trying to get water out of your house. You're trying to file your insurance work. You're doing all of those things. But at the same time, you have really been emotionally impacted. You are feeling it. And Reynolds says whatever kind of support is needed, people can call 211. She says the crisis center has heard from many people who are overwhelmed with everything that's going on. They just don't know what steps to take first, second and third. So by picking up the phone, getting some assistance for those resources, but also that emotional support will go a long way in helping you to really be able to plan the next steps for you and your family. The crisis center fielded more than 700 hurricane-related calls the weekend after the storm. Reynolds says help is available to anyone, whether they experience the storm firsthand or not. And again, that number is 211. The union representing 45,000 striking U.S. dock workers at ports, including Port Tampa Bay, has reached a deal to suspend a three-day strike until January to provide time to negotiate a new contract. The International Longshoremen's Association will resume working immediately. The temporary end to the strike came after the union and the U.S. Maritime Alliance, which represents ports and shipping companies, reached a tentative agreement on wages. The ports sweetened their wage offer from about 50 percent over six years to a 62 percent rays. It will be hot and humid today with scattered thunderstorms developing this afternoon. Highs will be near 90. Showers early tonight with overnight lows in the mid-70s. Tomorrow, a stray shower or thunderstorm is possible with highs in the low 90s. Expect a lot of rain in the next week. I'm Sean Kinnan with the WMNF News Headlines. This is The Scoop, recorded at WMNF Tampa.